Hello there, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are gonna implement our closed form solution and we are gonna compare it with multivariate regression and we are gonna see how that compares or how it is better or bad uh, when it is compared to multivariate regression. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into the coding. So, guys, uh, we used to load Boston or we used Boston housing data set and we are gonna use the same in this video also. So that we can compare our multivariate regression output which was almost 73.99 percent so we can compare it with our closed form solution so let's just do this quickly from scale learn dot uh, data sets import load boston from num import numpy as np and let's just do with this okay so it is going to be data equal to so let's take boston equal to load boston then we will use our x as boston dot data and our y as boston dot target okay we will have this uh, if you will check the shape we have 506 para, uh, we have 506 examples and 13 features okay one more thing that we need to do is we need to create our np dot once because we have to concatenate a column of one with x to complete our uh, to complete our algorithm okay now I have already done all of this in our multivariate regression as you can see here uh, I have already done all of this so it's not a big deal and one more thing yeah I all about that so before this what we need to do is we need to uh, normalize or standardize our data so let's do that first so it is u equal to So this is going to be np dot mean x uh, x is equal to zero. Then our standard deviation is going to be np dot standard deviation. Then again x and x is as zero. Zero and now what we need to do is x equal to x x minus u or x minus mean divided by standard deviation okay now we have this so what uh, we need a we need a column of this shape m into one and why do we need m because this is the size of our x means it means that we have m number of examples okay so we are gonna do this again let's take uh, x dot shape and we are gonna take the shape zero okay now it should be one then i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this x equal to np dot h stack so that it can horizontally stack once or this vector into our matrix so let's uh, first add one and then use well what do we have to use and we yeah we have to stack with x so i think this should be it to oh yeah we need to pass it as a tuple if we will see x then you can see here we have one in front of every row So this was successful now let's just implement our hypothesis so what we are going to do is we are gonna get our theta okay so our formula was something like this x transpose x inverse then x transpose 
y so this was our formula so we have to implement this so what i am going to do is let's take a variable a and np dot lin then alg or agl i guess and it is al np dot lin alg dot inv inverse so this is going to inverse our um, this part this is going to inverse this and in this we have to pass np dot dot of x dot transpose x so we are gonna first multiply them together and then we are gonna find the inverse of this okay now what we are going to do is we are going to find b and we are going to np dot dot x dot transpose comma y so we are doing this part right now and now for our theta we have to use np dot dot and we have to multiply a with b for now we, we what we are going to get we are going to get our theta here okay now let's run this and it is done so this is the whole code literally that we have to wrote to find our theta okay so if you will see theta dot shape we have 14 thetas and why we have 14 thetas because our number of features was 13 and as i told you earlier that we will have n plus 1 thetas so that's why we have 14 thetas okay now let's just wrote a hypothesis um, let's use def hypothesis in this i'm going to get the x and i'm going to get the theta and i'm going to return it return np dot dot x into theta okay now this is done let's just pass something here type to oh, y pred equal to hypothesis this we are going to pass our x and we are going to pass this theta so let's pass this theta we have our y pred okay we have these values here now what i'm going to do i am also going to write our r2 score function so from or uh, not from let's take def r2 score in this i'm going to take y and y prediction okay what we have to do is uh, we have to use the mean so let's take u is equal to y dot mean okay and now we have to use the numerator numerator and numerator will be np dot sum y minus y minus y pred no, not y pred but let's take y mean this let's take this y mean y mean and the square i have already explained all of this so if you are not getting like what i am doing here uh, it is because i have already done all of this code in our previous week okay so let's also take denominator denominator was np dot sum and here what we have to do is y minus y red square square and our output is going to be written one minus denominator numerator divided by denominator and we do not have to use this so let's just use r2 score to find the accuracy and r2 score y and y pred okay so it is giving us something wrong okay so the problem is that we have to use prediction here and we have to use me here okay it should work now so we have 74 percent accuracy and if you will see our multivariate regression in this we use our gradient descent and we got 73.9 percent accuracy and we also used sklearn uh, uh, linear regression uh, we also used sklearn model so with that we got 74.06 
accuracy and with this we are also getting some 74.06 so it is as good as our sklearn uh, library to find our linear regression solutions so this was it for this video and i hope that you understood the concepts here why you should use closed form solution or when to use closed form solution so this was it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time